Hello, Map 12 students. I wanted to point out that I have added a Zoom recording links to the home page of your class. So if you click there, it will take you to a page where as we have Zoom meetings and I record them, I'm loading the link onto this page. So I'm telling you which quick quiz is on the recording. So you can take advantage of that. And then on the home page also, if you scroll down, I'm adding a button each week for the current week's module. So you can just click on that week's module and it will take you right to the top of the module. And every week the routine from now on is going to be the same because we have that one holiday week. It kind of threw everything off. So I'm not sure what my canvas is doing. Something strange. So the week six module has two quick quizzes, a shine quiz, discussion board, and journal. So that's going to be the routine every week. And there's no reason you need to wait till Monday to do the homework that's due on Monday. You know what the homework is. It's in Newton. It tells you which homework is due on which day. If you scroll down past the modules, you don't see all these yet because they're not published. But if you get down to where the Newton homework assignments are, they have their due dates on them. So you could know a week ahead of time which homeworks are due which dates. So there's no reason to wait until Monday to start the homework. In fact, I'd really, really encourage you to start assignments at least two days before the due date. You'll feel much less stressed. You'll have more time to get answers to questions. The whole process just works a lot better that way. So in fact, in my mind, when I designed the course, I have a process in mind. I would love for you to do the homeworks or at least try the homeworks, then do a quick quiz. Then if you have questions, ask questions and then do more homework and do the next quick quiz. And then at the, towards the end of the week, start working on the shine quiz. Go ahead and look at the shine quiz now. So you see, what are all the things I'm meant to learn this week? And you can get a preview of what are all the things you need to make sure you've learned to be able to do the Shine Quiz. And then as always, after you submit the Shine Quiz and I grade it, you have a chance to rework anything. And you can do that as many times as you like. If it takes three times going back and forth, I think of it as a conversation. I'm just letting you know what you can do to improve your work. And then you improve it. And then if there's something that's still not quite up to the college algebra standard, I'll just let you know and you have another opportunity to make that correction. So I like to think of it as just a conversation between the two of us that's helping you improve your work and it will get better and better. And your next math instructor will be so thrilled that you've really improved on your skills of presenting and explaining and all those other skills that are so important along with the math concepts. So two quick quizzes, shine quiz, discussion board and journal. There's no reason to wait till Wednesday to do the discussion board. There's no reason to wait till Sunday to do the journal. You can do things on the days that it works best for you. So let me know if there's anything I can do to help with this week. I've put the resources down below here. And this week, I'm not requiring you to click on them all. I'm trusting that you've gotten in the habit of looking here for resources you need. So there's videos that I have made. The one that say Sullivan are videos and notes that go together that I have um, created. I have the links to the OpenStax free textbook that goes along with Newton. And then there's worksheets for the Newton sections that sometimes have um, really helpful little uh, learning boxes of information on them also. So lots of resources. And then don't forget, as always, your peer tutor, Lynette, she really wants to help students. So she's trying to be available at the times when it's useful for students. So make sure and take advantage of her availability. And then the Math Center is open a lot of hours. If you go to the Math Center, click on this button, you'll see there's an Algebra Support Center that's specifically for Algebra. And they're open a lot of hours. And then the Math Center 
is general math help, but they can also help with algebra, and they're open a lot of hours also. So between the two of them, they're open like 9 a.m. to 10 p.m., so there's lots of help available. Then the tutor center is where you can get an appointment for a one-on-one -on -one tutor session with a tutor. It won't be Lynette, but they have lots of college algebra tutors available, and they'll make you an appointment, and you'll have a Zoom session one-on-one -on -one for an hour with a tutor. And if you like that tutor, then you can make an appointment with them for the next week and the next week and meet with them every week for an hour. No cost to you. The college is paying the tutors. And then you have tutor.com, which is also a free tutoring service. This is a company. It's not part of Sierra College. The college pays for each student to have 10 hours of tutoring free to you. And when you click on this link and go to the tutor.com site, a live person answers and is available and will talk with you in real time and answer your questions. And so far, students are telling me it's actually really effective and, and very helpful, especially if it's off hours from the math center or a time when I'm not online. So let me know what I can do to help this week. I'm hoping to see lots of great progress.